I'm going to make some tweels. These are very delicate cookies, but they are delicious. They're nice and crunchy. What we're going to do is shape them into little cups so that we can then fill them with something. Again, a nice party uh, dessert. We're going to make a very simple one. You can make these with chopped nuts added and, and everything, but this is a very, very basic, simple tweel. In a pot, I'm going to put four tablespoons of butter, quarter of a cup of sugar, and a quarter of a cup of light corn syrup. And what I want to happen now is I want this to come to a boil. I want to dissolve that sugar before we add the flour and the salt. So that's going to take, oh, I don't know, three or four minutes. Just wait for it to melt. Our mixture has come to a boil. Take it off the heat. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt and one quarter cup of flour. Just plain, regular, all-purpose flour. And mix this well to combine. And now what we have to do is we have to let this cool to room temperature, completely cool to room temperature. It's going to thicken up, and don't worry about it. That's exactly what you want. So I'm going to finish whisking this up, which I'm almost done, and then I'm going to leave it at room temperature, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to form the tweels. Here's the tweel batter, all cool to room temperature. You can see it's pretty solid. I'm going to take um, a teaspoon measure, and I have a silpat lined uh, sheet. I find that the silpat works the best with something like tweels. Uh, you can try doing it on aluminum foil or on parchment paper, but to me, this works the best. Now, you don't want a lot of mixture for each one of these tweels because they spread and they become very big. So I'm just taking off, like I said, a teaspoon, scant teaspoon actually. It's almost caramelly. And you don't want to put them close together. My oven is on at 350, by the way. I'm only going to put six on this sheet. That's actually all I'm going to make for demo purposes anyway, so here we go. It's gooey. And then you have to decide what are you going to mold them over. I'm going to mold them over these little measuring cups. You could do these over shot glasses or whatever kind of small mold you have. Even um, you could do them over, you know, those disposable plastic cups or paper cups too. Okay, there's my six. Now these are going in that 350 degree oven, eight to 10 minutes, kind of check them after eight minutes because you want them to be golden brown, but you don't want them to be black, but you don't want them too light. So. Let's put them in and see what happens after eight minutes. All right, I've taken the tweels out of the oven. Now we need to let them sit on this pad for one minute. And then we need to move very, very quickly after that one minute. Now on the cups, I don't grease them or anything. You don't need to. These are so full and rich that they don't need any help. I use an offset spatula or anything that's kind of flat and look you can get underneath scoop it up and really flip it onto here real fast and then just make your mold starting just a bit more if you move it and it just kind of sits there it's not or moves too gooey it's not ready let's try one See this one's, I'm taking it off too soon. It's a good thing I have one extra. Okay. Well, that's what happens when you take them off too early. Happens. I 
get impatient. I just want to get going and mold these and There you go. Just quickly get it on there and kind of push it down to fit the cup. If you want to, if you have asbestos fingers and you want to sit there and play with it, go right ahead because these are very, very warm. And they, they really harden up very, very quickly, so you can't just take your time. Make a few extras so that you can practice with the first few, maybe the first batch. And now, let them set. This will set within five minutes, and then we can fill them up and I'll show you how to serve them. Been a few minutes, now we can take our cups off. You can see how nicely they come off. Little cups, they're so cute. And if you want a, a tighter cup, put them around, like I said, a shot glass or something like that. And these, actually, you can make these a day or two ahead of time. Again, room temperature in an airtight container. Now, one way to serve these would be some fresh strawberries. In the cup, or you can put blueberries or whatever. Shh, don't tell anyone. Normally, I advocate making your own whipped cream. This one is real cream. And to finish it off, I'm going to cut a strawberry in half and just put that on top. Now, look at that. Is that not cute? And you see a whole tray of those, and people are going to bite into it, and you're going to get crunch. And then you're going to get that nice, sweet strawberry in the cream. It's delicious. Again, fill them at the last minute or at least five minutes before. 